What is the worst part on the Harley Sportster? Whew, where do I begin? Alright everybody out there, what is going on? As always, thanks for stopping by to today's video. As you can see, we are, of course, back out on the lovely streets of Philadelphia, cruising uh, east on Spring Garden through Spring Garden section of Philly. And if you love this city of Philadelphia like I do, and you love riding around, talking motorcycles, you want to support anything we got going on here, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel to make sure you can stay up to date with everything we got going on here with the Harley Sportster and the city of Philadelphia. So today I'm pretty excited to talk about this one. This one could go one of two ways. This one could be kind of a funny one to talk about or it could maybe anger some people, make some people angry. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So today we're talking about the worst stock part on the Harley Sportster. <laughs> so we all know that the Sportster has its shortcomings sometimes in the power, performance, handling category. And now, a lot of this, I'm thinking of this from a stock perspective. And, but at the same time, that's one of the things that makes the Sportster so cool and great that everyone talks about is there's so many different ways to modify it and build it out and make it your own, etc., stuff like that. But one of the reasons you have to modify it and make it your own is because all of the parts that it comes with are such trash. Like, it comes with some really bad stock parts, and what is the worst one? So often you see Sportsters are just like, totally upgraded from stock, because a lot of the stuff that this thing comes with from the factory is just really not good. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not an indictment of the Sportster. A lot of people get them for that reason, so they can build them out in certain specific ways or certain parts. And again, I'm not bashing the Sportster here. Don't get me wrong. Like I always say, you guys know I love this bike. I have a blast on it. I take it anywhere. I'll do anything with it. This is not to bash it, but I'm just saying some of these stock parts are just terrible. Like really, really bad. And I'm curious to know what everybody out there thinks that the worst stock part is on the Sportster. And I'm sure if you think it was the worst stock part, I'm sure you probably changed it out by now. So I want to list out a few that I commonly hear. Get some of y'all's feedback down there in the comments of what you think about some of these just atrocious <laughs> stock parts that come on this bike. And let me know what you switched some of them out to to make them better. But anyways, like I said, yeah, I mean, this is not an indictment of this bike. I'm not like trying to bash it. I know some people are going to maybe think that I'm like bashing it here to try to get some troll comments down there, but, but I'm not. I'm seriously not. I'm just saying like some of the parts that come stock on this bike are really bad but you kind of have to level set your expectations with this bike you know you're getting an 883 or 1200 air cooled engine it's not a performance monster out of the gate you know with the stock factory parts i think sometimes you just kind of have to level set your expectations with this bike but some of these parts are really bad i'm going to get into that and i'm going to tell you what my number one thing is that i think is really bad with this bike from a couple experiences that i had lately so to start it off and to name a few, I think some of the stock parts that you hear most frequently about, one of them is the seat. A lot of people complain about the stock seats, almost on any bike really, but I hear a lot about the Sportsters, the 883 and the 1200 stock seats. Everybody changes those things out. I hear tons of complaints about the stock seats. So I did ride for a few months with the stock seat on my bike, upgraded it pretty quick. Stock seat on the Iron 1200, I didn't think it was that bad. It wasn't terrible. It was a little soft. Upgraded it to the Saddleman, of course. Anyways, the next part that you always hear people complain about, the next stock part that's terrible, the rear suspension. Actually, probably both suspension. I know the rear is probably the most impactful. But man, that rear stock suspension is really bad. I switched it out to the Progressive 412s, made a world of difference. I mean, that's stock suspension. Like, I'm hitting stuff here in the city on these, like, roads and bumps and stuff. And, I mean, it's just smashing your spine. Like, bone rattling. I even adjusted it a little bit. Like, the manual says. You can find that adjustment in the manual. I tightened it up a little bit. That made it a little bit stiffer and better. But still, it was awful. 
But anyway, yeah, the suspension, the rear suspension is one you hear a lot about. A lot of people change out the rear. A lot of people change out the front, too. I have not done that yet. But stock rear suspension, definitely terrible from the factory. Another really bad stock setup would be the exhaust, obviously. I mean, that goes for almost any bike and any brand. I mean, these things are coming like super muffled, super restricted from the factory. Again, that's almost like any maker model, really. But everybody's changing out their exhaust, increase some airflow, get some noise, get some rumble out of it. The stock exhaust, terrible stock part coming from the factory, which I think that's pretty common with most bikes. Next, you guys know, everybody talks about this one too, stock lighting. Comes with these dim, you know, lamps, these dim bulbs. Everybody's upgraded to LED these days. I mean, LED is 100% the way to go. I've got the Rogue Rider Industries. Um, LED lights, turn signals on there, makes a world of difference. The stock lighting is just so bad, like trash, terrible. The upgrade is so worth it. So yeah, those are a few that I could just think of off the top of my head that I kind of hear most commonly. Seat, exhaust, suspension, lighting. And again, sometimes it is with other brands, but also sometimes not. I've ridden other friends' bikes that are, you know, very stock, a lot of the stock parts on them. And I'm like, oh wow, this suspension's better. Oh wow, this is more comfortable. And, oh wow, this handles better. <laughs> but like I said, that's um, one of the things that you kind of got to expect with the Sportster. You got to know what you're getting into with it. You're probably getting it mostly for the looks. Mostly so you can build it out yourself, make it your own, upgrade all these pieces anyways, really. So finally, after all that, I'm going to tell you what I think is the worst stock part on that. And this goes back to an experience that I've actually had recently to actually make me think of this as to why this part is so bad. But for me, I got to go with the brakes, man. This stopping power, I'm starting to realize is just really not good with this bike. And so why do I say that? Well, I think early on, you know, as a newer rider, you know, you're not really like pushing the limits very much. You know, you're kind of taking it easy. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but you know, throughout the years you're learning to ride, your skills get better and better and better. And lately I just find myself like, you know, as you start to take some of these turns, you dive into turns a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more powerful. You know, you're getting from light to light, a little quicker, all this and that. I'm finding myself needing more out of these brakes and to feel safe as well. So I'll give you a little example. I was out riding with my buddy Philly Two Wheels. We were roaming around one day. Now two of these examples, one was actually my fault. I was, uh, let's just say zoned out, not paying attention. <laughs> so what had happened was we were out riding and you know, we're coming around a turn. I'm like looking off at something. I know he, he kind of had to stop abruptly too. We come around a turn and traffic has just stopped. So he came to a stop safely. Luckily, I came to a stop safely, but I start doing my emergency braking. I'm pumping the brakes. The rear tire is locked up. I'm trying not to go too hard on the front so I don't lose traction and go down. So I'm, I'm pumping the brakes, skidding to a stop, like skidding. I'm almost about to hit the car in front of me. But luckily, I finally came to that stop and I'm like, geez, oh man, these brakes, and we weren't even going that fast. I'm like, man, these brakes, I feel like they should have gave me a little more than that. You know, and I'm pretty, I've skidded before, you know, just kind of testing the limits, you know, feel where that lockup is going to occur, you know, where that's gonna happen or anything. But yeah, I mean, I was like, man, I really feel like these should be giving me a little bit more stopping power than that. It almost felt like the bike, like was lifted up and was just floating. And I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Like, I'm not stopping. But that was one scenario. Luckily, I did come to a nice safe stop and all was well. The next one was, I was approaching a light and you know, cruising along. It was kind of like a back road, like 35, 45 maybe, I can't remember. And again, this was with Philly two wheels. <laughs> He's leading and I see the light turn to yellow and I don't see his brake lights. So then all of a sudden, I'm like, all right, we're going through this. I'm ready to throttle through it he doesn't go through it <laughs> so luckily we're staggered he's here I'm here and I'm like oh boy he stopped so I got to make a quick decision I'm like I either throttle through wait and pull over for him I was like or I try to make this stop so same thing happens like rear tire locked up 
I'm skidding, I'm pumping the brakes, making sure that I don't lock it up totally and lose traction. Um, I stopped in like the middle of the intersection. <laughs> Had to like walk the bike back out of the intersection. I look over to my right, Philly Two Wheels sitting there laughing his ass off at me because I just skid right through the intersection. But luckily I got to a stop there and uh, all was well once again. But it was those two specific scenarios where I started to think like, geez, I kind of feel like I need more stopping power out of this. Like, how bad are these brakes? Like, can we get some upgraded brakes on this thing? Or maybe I just upgrade them myself or change them out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I believe the brakes on this thing are not good. Put me in a couple sketchy situations. <laughs> but then again, as always, like I always say, we're actually heading down into uh, FDR Park right here, by the way. But anyways, like I always say, you know, you got to have expectations about your bike. The Sportster is not a performance machine. They're not going to have the best parts and brakes on it, obviously. You know, it's just, I don't know, you know, it's just they're not going to put, you know, high performance brakes on here. It's a 1200 air-cooled engine. You're not, not typically flying around, ripping around. You've got to ride safe with these brakes on here. Have expectations of how they're going to handle, how they're going to work for you. But yeah, anyway, that's just kind of my experience recently with the brakes. A little conversation about that, like I said. Some of these stock parts are just really, really bad on this bike, man. <laughs> And lately, I, I've kind of been uh, ripping on the brakes because of those couple situations I was in. Like I said, I don't believe that I was riding in an unsafe way or unsafe manner. It was just really kind of the the lack of the ability of the brakes, in my opinion. But, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Drop it down in the comments. So, yeah, that'll wrap it up for now as we take a little cruise through FDR Park right here down in South Philly. Talking a little bit about some of the absolute worst stock parts on this motorcycle, the Harley Sportster. And again, all the Sportster riders, we always upgrade these anyways. So, new seats, new exhaust, new lights, new suspension, all that stuff. I talked about that in one of my earlier videos about uh, all the uh, cost of maintaining and upgrading this bike, by the way. <laughs> But anyways, drop it down there in the comments. Let me know what you think about some of these terrible parts on here, what you upgraded them with. And as always, ride safe out there. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. This is the Moto John. We'll see you all on down the road. Peace.